Well, hello, my name's Mark Outen, and I work for the landscape conservation team down in South East Essex. Now, as part of the Essex Coastal Challenge, I'm here to spotlight the wonderful reserve of Lower Ray Pits on the River Crouch. So lower ray pits, what's important about lower ray pits? Well, it is about location, location, location. It sits on the protected river crouch and in the east you've got the RSPB site at Wallasey and in the west you've got the Essex Wildlife Trust at Blue House Farm. Now that connectivity is really important for many species. We actually found that satellite tagged Brent geese uh, on Blue House Farm, a project that we're involved in at the moment, they were actually flying up the river crouch and using lower ray pits to feed. So it shows that this connected landscape is really important. What else is there? The sea walls are home to some of our rarest invertebrates. The wet grassland, some of our threatened breeding waders. And on the lagoon behind us, we some of our nesting shorebirds. So it's a real mosaic of habitat buffered by this wonderful salt marsh. So this area in front of us is actually the wet grass and now it looks quite long at the moment and the actual uh, conditions that we want to get it to is quite a short sward so that means short in the grassland. And what that does is that means that it's really really good in the winter for those grazing geese. But also species such as lapwing love it when the grass is really short and what we'll also see is Lots of features, lots of low waves, all full of water in the winter. Um, just a few months ago, there was water in all of these foot drains that you can see in front of us. Um, it's a really different landscape in the winter. So I've come to the high to show you one of the key features here at Lower Ray Pits, and that is the lagoon. It's really important for us to store water so that we can put some water on the wet grassland but we can also use it as its own habitat for breeding waders. Let's see what we can see. One bird we get nesting here most years on the lagoon is the oyster catcher with its bright orange bill, its lovely black and white plumage. It really is a striking bird and one that's under, um, underrated, I think. Um, but they do nest here. They love a clutch of two or three eggs. Um, and they nest here and also on the wet grass and and one of the scarcest breeding birds that we get on site is the little green plover here you can see one moving along this lovely muddy edge right next to a common sandpiper which is actually a passage wader it's chased it off so why are these birds here well EWT have been doing a lot of work on the islands here We've made them shallow, we've put some aggregate on top of them. So you've got a lovely muddy edge as the water draws down, but there's also this lovely mimic shoreline. So it's very much like a beach. So we're getting these birds that are accustomed to shorelines, natural habitats. We've actually got them here on the lagoon. So what about these rare bumblebees? Well, I'm coming up to a patch of black whorehound, which is actually a plant that bumblebees favor. So we'll have a look and see what we can find. Working its way through the black whorehound. Wonderful. Now on this occasion I haven't managed to see shrill cardaby, but I have just picked up its cousin, which is also very rare, the brown banded cardaby. Also, as with the wall cardaby moving through this black whorehound shows you the importance of these little clumps of this wonderful plant. So, we've had a look at the lagoon, we've had a look at the wet grassland. Now let's take a look at the sea wall and see what we can find there. So 
So I may have lucked out on Shrill Carderby on this occasion, but I have just spotted something that I really want to show you. I have a rare invertebrate here. We can see the scarce emerald damselfly. Look at that beautiful iridescent green. It just sat here amongst the grass as I was walking along. Real beauty. So as I leave the wonderful Lower Ray Pits and its abundance of wildlife that I've shown you, I want to say this. Without your support, none of this would be possible. We wouldn't be able to protect these wonderful habitats. So please join us on the Essex Coastal Challenge. You can contact us by emailing fundraise at essexwt.org.uk or go onto the Essex Wildlife Trust website and see how you can help more join in the amazing Essex Coastal Challenge through Marine Month. I'll see you next time. Bye.